In today's OBS studio, I'll be showing you how you can stream your pre-recorded files. And in this particular case, I'll also be showing you how you can stream multiple files. Let's say if you have 10 or three or five different files and you want them to play back to back, I'll also be showing you how you can do that. Hello and welcome to Tech Select. My name is Linus, and in today's obvious uh, studio uh, tutorial, I like I said, I'll be showing you how you can stream your uh, pre-recorded uh, files for your people to watch, uh, so that it looks like you're live when you're actually not live. Those that want to figure out why you'd want to do this, there's a video on my channel you can watch right now on the card that is popping up, and you can click and watch and figure out why you'd want to do that or how you can do that. But in today's studio, we go uh, today in today's video we go deep into to the tutorial to find out exactly how you can do this and also how you can get it done for multiple files now let's start by uh, how you can stream a single file now before i jump into this this video is assuming that you have already connected your obs to your youtube uh channel or to your facebook or whatever it is you're streaming to be it twitch or whatsoever uh this is assuming that you have already connected the two if you haven't check out on the playlist you will see a video on how to connect your youtube to your obs studio for streaming you can just click on that video and then it will show you how to connect the two and then now you can come back here and see how you can you know stream pre-recorded files now let's get to method number one pre, uh, streaming a pre-recorded file one single file now to do that all we're going to do is open our obs studio as you can see it is open over here and then uh, pick whatever scene you're in maybe scene one or scene two but in this particular case we're using scene two because it's one which is capturing my display for you to see now ignore these two these two here are here just so that you can see and hear what i am doing so do not look at these two here ignore them now in order to stream your video file we are going to come over here to the plus sign at the bottom you're going to look for media source now media source in this case you can name it whatever it is you're going to call it i'm just going to leave it as media source and then we're going to click okay now once you do that this uh uh, pop-up is going to show up and basically it's as you can see here it is saying you are looking for a local file and then it has options for it either loop once you click loop the file will play until the end and restart again and then uh this here restart playback when source becomes active this is good for like when you're switching scenes from scene one to scene two scene if you don't check this here what happens is the video continues playing even after you've clicked away from that particular scene over here so let's say if we have many different uh inputs and whatnot i want to switch scene and this is not highlighted the video will continue playing when you come back to it you'll find when it is uh logo long gone so you can click these and select them as desired but mainly these are the main two loop or restart playback when source is active now uh, we move on to selecting the file now here in this field here local file is where it's telling you that pick the file you want to stream and put it right here now what we're going to do is go to browse in browse we're going to pick whatever file it is we want to stream in this particular case uh i want to stream let's say okay let me pick out uh let's say my my youtube intro so this here is the you know the file that i want to stream and then what i'm going to do leave the speed do not mess with the speed here the speed is at 100 percent that means it plays at the normal speed if you want it slower you can do that but i'm warning uh, this is a warning it will actually mess up how your video feels and also sounds only mess with the speed if that is actually what you're going for for instance if you've recorded a very long video maybe you're on a motorcycle and you want to zoom through things then maybe you can increase the speed also however if you want normal uh speed leave it at 100 then we are going to click okay. as you can see uh, my video is already playing over there but because this is a uh, not a 4k timeline but the video is 4k so it's too big uh, we are going to transform and fit to screen right there you go so this here is our media source now as you can see here we have the play um timeline over here where you can either forward or rewind 
you have a stop button and you have a play, button. You have a play pause button over here stop button now that is number one Number two in this particular case is let's say we want to stream many files. Um, okay, let's just get rid of this here. All right. So let's say we want to stream very many files. Uh, you have like three, four videos and you want to stream them back to back in that when one ends, another one begins. You don't want to make it look like uh, you don't want to go and sit in your video editor and put all of them back to back into one file. What we're going to do is actually very simple here. What we're going to do, step one is go online and make sure we download uh, VLC media player. Now, I must warn you, always download from uh, repeatable sources. So look for the actual VLC website. Don't go to third party websites. You'll end up getting a virus. So in this particular case, this is videoland.org forward slash VLC. That is the link you want to go to download VLC. Now download VLC player install it and have it on your machine so once your vlc is downloaded to your machine all we are going to do now is go over here like we did earlier with a single file but in this particular case we are putting up many files we're going to go to the plus button and then just down here we have vlc video source now once you go to vlc video source it brings up our pop-up like this one and then we're going to click ok once it comes to OK, we now have here where we have our playlist option. Now in here we have loop playlists and shuffle playlist. Now it's up to you to click on what exactly works for you. Loop playlist, what happens is when the, the videos you have selected are done, it goes back to the first one and goes down the same order again. In shuffle playlist mode, what happens is it will not follow the particular order. It can come from video one to video five to video three. to So there's no particular order. Then, um, so normally I don't like putting shuffle playlist because by the time I put my things in my playlist, I have them in a particular order that I want them to, to be in. Now, then here again, we have visibility behavior. We have stop when not visible restart when visible this was the same as the first one earlier where we said when you switch scenes from scene one to scene two over down here how do you want it to behave do you want it to continue playing or do you want it to only play when you click on the particular scene so here i'm going to leave it at that at stop when not visible and now the the star of the day the thing that has brought us here the main main thing let me just pull this up here is our playlist now in playlist here all we're going to do is click the plus button and say add files in add files let's say these are the two files that i want to stream i'm going to select them and click open and now in here i can organize them how i want them to play so in this particular case i would want uh let's say my intro to play first then this small test video to play next and then maybe i can add the intro again as an outro just like that and now once i'm done with all of this all i have to do is click ok now once i'm done click ok i can pause over here make sure everything is uh, set to how it's supposed to be like now in this particular case i have to fit this to my screen uh let's go over here fit to screen mm, transform fit to screen there we go now as you can see this here is what is on my screen in this case everything ready once i check and everything is good to go and then hit my start streaming and then i come over here and click play now i'm going to play through this uh just to show you what exactly happens let me reduce this volume because it's going to be a bit loud just to show you how it plays from one file uh then jumps over to the second one then jumps over to the third one which is the quickest way in which you can play many files so in this particular case let's play this so as you can see my intro is playing if you remember when we set our playlist this was file number one after that once file number one is done file number two comes on as you can see file number two also plays through plays through and then uh, as you can remember after that file number three as we had organized it also starts playing so that is the quickest way in which you can uh, stream very many different files uh, in this particular case we have streamed three files without having to merge them in a video editor you're just uh, pushing them out 
easily and simply like that so that brings us to the end of today's tutorial on how to stream pre-recorded files in case you have any questions drop me a comment and i shall definitely be answering them in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye